Hey guys, it's me, Predator, up with another modeling tutorial. In this tutorial, I will briefly show you how to make a random prop and how to texture it, and you'll do this in XSI Mod Tool 7.5. So we start with opening our program. XSI Mod Tool. There we go. And the second thing you'll do is to locate the folder where you want your compiled files to be. In my case, it's this folder. I already have a constructed uh, QC file, which you can see here from previous work, so I'll just add that in the description. And here I have a random file that I found on Google. This is the texture file that I will use. Uh, as you see, this is a GPEG file. We want to use a .tga file for looseless compression, which gives much better quality. And you can do this by just opening this in some random image editor. Uh, I, I, I really prefer using Photoshop. So I just open this up in Photoshop and I save it as, and I change it to TGA. And that way, you will get a file like this. And you can open it in VTF Edit. And the quality will look much better. But yeah, you will need to copy the direction of your folder where you can find your texture files and so on. Then the next thing is to take textured decal. You can also take texture, but uh, if you have untextured, it will not be that lightly. It will be a little darker, a little sh more shaded, but the texture decal is a little more bright. I'll show you real briefly. I'll show you quickly. Um, we go to model, make sure that construction mode is modeling, and you go on primitive, and you go on polygon mesh, and you click on cube. <coughs> and you could actually say that 8 here is the same as 8 units in the hammer editor tool mapping tool. So like a normal standard height would be 128 units. It looks pretty big here but it really isn't that big in the game actually. This would be like one and a half the player or so. Now we have our cube. So I will just make a random crate with a physic model so you can pick it up and toss it around depending on how much kilograms it's set in the physic model that I will show uh, show quickly in a QC file. Now to texture in, you just go to render or you click 3. So you will go to texture and image. Make sure you selected your cube. To open the explorer for this, you click on 8 and you get this one up. Make sure that cube is selected. Next thing is you can click on new, a new from file, and you locate your TGA file, which is here in my case. I click on this and I get it here. And in order to apply this one to the cube, you add a projection. Here you can change between many different th types. We will just use a cubic one because obviously this is a cube and that works best. You can see it's perfectly aligned in every direction here. So if you have a cube, then choose cubic. If you choose these other ones, it's gonna look really weird and yeah, kinda hilarious. So we'll just stick to cube. So so far, that's all. And now you just gotta compile this bastard and could also change this one if you wish to, for example, basic mesh. Doesn't really matter, just a random name. Now we can export this model, remove these, and find your direction. I have a ref point SMD. the physic model which I choose here if you want to be able to move this one around you need to add a physic model and as well if you want it to be completely solid 
you need to have a physic model. If you don't add a physic model, you'll be able to just go through the crate like it's invisible or like that it has no bounding boxes and so on. You can choose yourself though to add bounding boxes on a prop static or so on. But we normally have the physic. So if so, then you'll have some issues if you don't have a physic box or physic mesh or whatever. Then that's done. Now we just gotta compile it and check it in game. Uh, I've already made one here. And this idle animation is not a big thing. I have a static prop here, so uh, this one has to be changed. And here I have a square from my previous work. You just change this bone to the one I wrote, which is Physic Mesh. You can also add a bone manually if you wish. It might be a little easier that too. Uh, it, to do that, you just go on. You could go on curve or here or here but you can also add a chain if you wish or you can even go up here and add a curve and a square that works too, it's many different ways to do this uh, you just write the same height and you'll see this line that covers the box is our bone but not yet because we have to envelop it by going to animation construction mode click on 2 to open the animation browser or whatsoever and you can see different bones attached to this one by clicking on this part here but I haven't added any bones yet so that won't really show you anything yet now click on envelop, set envelop make sure you select your physic mesh or your mesh box or whatsoever then right click the bone you want to envelop oh it messed up now yeah you gotta so yeah you have to click on it first Oh, holy shit. Okay, yeah, click on it, then right click. Sorry, I totally forgot that. My bad. Yeah, and now you can go on this one and you will see a square. Now, if you add an external bone, like in this case, you need to write square and not physic mesh in this part of the QC file. Not here, but uh, yes, also there, but here because this is the main bone that this one is parented to so then make sure you write square as the main bone in hbox like this that will work pretty okay you can also just copy this and add it here and click ctrl s to save for yeah and here we have our reference physic model the mass is one kilogram so this one will we pretty much be able to pick up but the size of course doesn't seem to look one kilogram but just to check if we can pick it up and all that shit and you can also add this too if I if I'm not wrong add to mass or something that automatically kinda checks the mass of the object depending on the size and so on but in our case this is just a random test now this is actually the basic of creating the whole QC file for a prop. Uh, if you want animations, you've got to add furthermore sequences. And you're also going to animate it by rigging it firstly and then making the keyframes. But I won't cover anything of, like that in this tutorial, so maybe another time. Now we want to compile this bastard. I already got it set here. So it's just to click compile. And uh, yeah, it didn't find a bone actually. That was kind of. Oh yeah, I forgot to export the new one. Uh, too bad I'm tired today. So we just compile it or export it all over again. last thing is to test this in game. Well firstly we just open model viewer to check everything. And I actually made a texture file for this already so we should pretty much cover that first. 
Yep. Now you've actually made the prop here. And the physics model, as you see. And you also want the material to be here. So you go to models and props. And I already made it though. And I really I added no special effects to this material. You can add normal maps and whatsoever to add more details to the texture and so on. But in this case I just took these and I control S in my old material file. It's really simple. But this additive should not be here because that makes it look really weird. It should just have something like this is a pretty much okay VMT file for a prop. Now we open it up in Model Viewer and we check it out. Crate sample. Here we got our crate. And as you see it looks pretty much like a okay looking prop. Not too small, not too big. And if you want to check your physic model, you'd click on physic model. Make sure it actually fills the whole model. If it doesn't, it might be bugged or rotated wrong or something. It can bug up if you decompile other people's models. But if you make it yourself from scratch, it normally will be perfect. So you shouldn't worry about that. Now, only thing remains is to test this one in-game. We'll just open Half-Life 2. And we test check it. Here is our prop. I already added it actually. This is under prop physics. You can also check what it supports in this frame here. And this supports prop physics. So we're just going to compile this and hopefully it will work. Just take fast, that's fair enough.